Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video we are going to see how to undo, redo your command in Scratch. And you are going to do this in your coding window with right clicking in your coding area and then pick either undo or redo. Undo cancels your decision so for example if i add some kind of block into my coding window and then press undo it will be removed if i connect to coding scratch blocks and then press undo they will reverse they will be disconnected again redo goes in different direction <clears throat> It cancels undo command but let's see that in practice if you are confused and if you have never used these commands in other programs because as I have told a couple of times before in previous videos lots of these commands are useful in different game engines applications web and so on same goes with, with undo and redo and for example if i add some kind of block like this first one it doesn't matter which one you, whichever one you choose i will pick move 10 steps drag it to edit to my coding window and i say okay this is actually wrong i don't need this block all i have to do is click on this white area in my coding programming window and say undo that mean that means cancel the last step which i made and that was bringing move scratch block onto my scene onto my programming window so undo will reverse the effect so let's do that so it will disappear uh, okay but i again change my mind now i say okay i actually need that one I can bring it again like with click and drag but I can just right click and press redo. So here it is again. So this command looks maybe um, not necessary or something which you are not going to use a lot and that's probably true but it's uh, again common in other programs in other programming languages and for some people it uh, it has some usage in in real world so for example if i add couple of those and um, um it doesn't matter again which one and i connect them one two three four uh, i made some kind of error again it doesn't matter which kind of error it is it's just a practice so i want them disconnected again so i click undo and they disconnect one by one because i was connecting them if i press undo again they will disappear because i'm going back like stepping in time i'm going back in my past and opposite <clears throat> if i keep on pressing redo they will keep on whatever and until I have no more redo options so um, also which other example we can see yeah I can for example do this instead of moving 10 steps and that is too small I test that okay let me try 1000 steps I type that okay that's too much let me undo undo and instead go to 50 but now i have the problem with my cat is out of the boundaries so yeah 50 is better so you can undo these typing values which we have changed here so you see how these numbers change here in move 10 steps one step 10 5 50 and so on so you can undo connection of blocks adding blocks to the scene typing numbers and stuff like that also the problem here is 
for some people to understand that this undo is based only for this screen here the programming window and everything we do here adding blocks deleting them connecting them changing the values and stuff like that but here this guy here on the scene on the stage cat in this example he will not be affected by all of those undo or redo changes and what do i mean by that so for example if i pick turn 15 degrees and test it and look that on this guy here look when i press it how this guy here will rotate for 15 degrees okay so now it's rotated and now i say okay 15 is too much i actually need five or maybe it's too low i, I need 50 so okay that is better so i will undo it and it goes back to five undo it again 15 okay i didn't want that i wanted to stay on 50 maybe as value but i wanted this guy to undo his rotation it will not happen so you will have to do it some other way either by here rotating it like this or maybe duplicating this guy so first rotate it to 90 or whatever you need zero stuff like that and finding the the right direction but undoing or re redoing it will only change the value here not the guy here on the stage because scratch somehow remembers the last change in terms of he's not he's not going to do the redo and, and undo on this stage this scene it will only affect your code blocks here same goes with uh, other like for example maybe i will uh, yeah i will reset file new and then pick move 10 steps so for example i am testing this guy here okay 10 is too small let me try 20 20 is too much 15 no 20 is actually better i will undo it and i want to keep 20 as a final but i have a problem here my cat is not on the position starting which which was at the start of the game so you have to push it back again and stuff like that so it's just um, a warning for you to understand that these undo and redo are made for this window and sometimes you will uh, lose the connection between this guy here on the stage and your experiments here on the code that's it for this video again undoing yeah maybe um yeah maybe one more thing to show uh, i forgot to tell you that uh, this undo and redo are also as we said before some kind of commands which you have in other um, programs in other application it's very common so i can do undo by right clicking anywhere on the screen and picking undo command but i can also press ctrl and z or z button however you pronounce it on my keyboard in real life and the effect would be the same so i'm pressing ctrl z to undo or ctrl y to redo that's again very common shortcut in programming but web also uh, text programs or whatever you use graphical like photoshop they all use the same shortcuts Control z Control y undo redo and that's it uh, that's it for this video see you in next one thanks for watching